Just in a story that's just breaking, he's now pitching a plan to try to cripple the Russia probe. Step one, according to the report in the Washington Post, is firing Rod Rosenstein. Joining us now by phone is the Post, uh, Karun uh, Demersion. Karun, thanks so much for being with us. So explain your reporting. What exactly is Steve Bannon pitching to West Wing aides? Well, this is my colleague Bob Costa's story, and um, basically it's that he's pitching this plan that would be, that would be a way to um, pick apart the, 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 the Mueller probe, basically. Starting with Deputy Gener- Attorney General Brad Rosenstein, he's the person who has authority over Mueller's probe. He's also newly come back into Trump's crosshairs because he had to sign off on that search warrant to actually uh, raid the offices of Trump's personal lawyer, Michael Cohen. And then another part of this plan that, that been in his pitching is that the White House stopped cooperating with the Mueller probe and start to exert a, a, assert, excuse me, a rather broad interpretation of executive privilege that would even involve seemingly revoking some of the permissions given to our aides and others who have spoken to the special counsel's team already. Um, so he's basically saying the president should go to, to, to it, basically into political warfare over this um, by both taking off um, a person that has been the the top official at justice with authority to oversee all of the parameters of this probe, and also um, refusing to play ball, and in a pretty broad uh, sense of, 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 with an executive privilege indication that would cover more than just himself. Is is there any indication that the president or anyone on his team is, is listening to Bannon or inclined to listen to Bannon? It seems like where he is right now is in the the stage of trying to corral allies to push this. Certainly that we've seen over the last few days that the president is itching to do something, not comfortable with the situation as it is. We see him issuing new statements almost every day. Um, But it seems like the president is reticent to quite take this step. And as it says in the piece, it's, it's... it struck people like Bannon that maybe need to nudge in that direction. They can provide that by by laying out this plan, which they think that they, it could actually work. But again, remember, Bannon's not inside the White House right now. He's trying to talk to allies within the White House, allies on Capitol Hill, that can maybe push the president in this direction. But um, but that's that's Bannon no longer is you know the the has the stature that he used to when it came to being the person that whispered in the president's ear about everything. And that, of course, you know, goes back to last summer, the fire and fury book, then right. leaving the White House and all of the bad blood that still exists there, which potentially mitigates how much influence Bannon can have over the president and his allies to listen to him and put this sort of a plan into effect. Mm.